What's up guys, I'm Cole with MVS Media Solutions and today we're going to be building a basic website using HTML code. So I'm using Visual Studio's code and it's really simple to download. All you have to do is search Visual Studio's code and then go to download. And then you either are going to download it on Windows, Linux, or Mac, whatever you have. Click on it. And it should start downloading from there. So once you have it downloaded, open it, and it should come up to the Start menu. And we're going to click Open Folder. And I'm just going to create one on my desktop. New folder. Basic website. Okay, so now we are in our basic website folder and we're going to want to create a new file. And this is, we're going to call this index.html. And you have to put the HTML after that so your computer is going to recognize that it's an HTML document. To start off our web page, we have to declare what kind of document that we're using. And we do this by exclamation point doc type HTML. And in HTML code, it doesn't matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase. It is not case sensitive. So we don't have to worry about that. The next thing we're going to put is our opening HTML tag and our closing tag. So it put our closing tag there for us. And there is one key difference between the opening and closing tags. And it is the forward slash mark. And that is saying that it is, in fact, a closing tag. And it doesn't matter what closing tag it is. Every single closing tag will have this forward slash mark. And this closing HTML tag is going to go at the very bottom of our web page. So after this, we need to create our head. And in our head, this isn't the stuff that's going to show on our web page. This is going to be some stuff that is telling your computer what the title is and what it is encoded with and different stuff like that. So we're going to put meta char set equals and then it already put the double quotes for us and then UTF-8 and what this is is this meta char set UTF-8 that is just a general coder that we're using to code this and then we want to close it and then we want to add our title and that's the reason why I really like Visual Studio's code is because it adds it predicts what you're doing and then it'll add the closing tags for you most of the time. So in our title, I'm just going to put my basic web page. And then we're done with the head. The next thing we're going to have to make is our body tag. So body already made the closing tag for us. And so see how there's all this space in between all this? One thing we can do instead of backspacing it all is we can just hit Control S and it will format it for us and also save what we've already done. So if we preview this, show preview, nothing's showing up. And that's because none of this information this is what's on our web page right here is in the body. So 
Usually most pet web pages, they're going to have a navigation bar at the top where you're going to have your home, about us, products, contact us, whatever it may be, it's going to be in that navigation bar. And so how we create that is that needs to be in our header section of our web page. So we're going to create our header. In our header, we need to create our title. And how we do this is through our H1 through H6 tags. So I've created this little example here for you. The H1 tag is going to be your biggest header, with the H6 tag being your smallest header. The thing is, we have to use our H1 tags before our H2s, our H3s, 4s, and so on. And that's because if there's a web page screen reader, it can mess them up if we have an H3 tag before an H1 or some something like that. And so we're going to delete all this except for our H1 tag. And we're going to call it basic web page. So after our title, this is whenever we're going to create our navigation bar. So we need to put nav for navigation. And there's two types of lists in HTML code. There is an ordered list, which is OL, or there is an unordered list, which we're going to be using. And so an ordered list is numbered, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. And an unordered list is not its bullet points. So that's what we're going to want to use for our navigation bar. So we're going to create unordered list. And inside this, we want to list our home page. We're going to list about us. And then products. And so there is some stuff you can do in HTML to make this look a little bit different, but mostly what we're going to be using, and this will be my next video, is CSS to make this web page look totally different and a lot more appealing. But we do need to make these hyperlinks though, because you can't click on them right now. And so how we do that is with an anchor tag. And an anchor tag is just an A and then we want to reference something, so href equals double quotes and then I'm just going to put the root but we don't have a home page right now so we can't, you would put a home page URL right here but I'm just going to put the root, close it and it already put our closing tag right here except we don't want to do that. We want to the anchor to be anchored to the home. Right now it's anchored to all everything over here. So we just need to put a closing anchor tag. Already did it for us and then we're done. And we can do the same for these two. So we can click on it, except our root over here is only our HTML document. So there's nothing really to show there except for this. Okay, and then we're just going to go Control-S to save it. Once we're back clicked on here. 
and then it's going to format it for us too. So after our header, we're going to want to create our main. And this will have stuff in it. We can put an image tag. And an image tag is a self-closing tag. So we're going to put image source equals. I'm just going to use a, web, a picture from my website. Now, before we close this, we want to put height equals 100 and then weight equals 100. And so that just made it fit a little bit better. It's not ginormous. And then after our image, we can put a paragraph tag. So this is red right here, and that's because we did not close this. Control S. And in our paragraph, we can put this is and we can put plenty of more stuff in here but we're going to move on to the footer for now so our footer is going to go after the main And we're going to put an H2. So that's where your footer info is going to go. Alright guys, so now we have our basic layout for a web page using HTML code. My next video will be CSS to make this web page really pop and make it very appealing. Uh, if you guys like this video, I appreciate it if you'd hit that like button or subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. I'll catch you on the next one.